Right, guys. This video, I want to talk to you about naysayers, people telling you it can't be done, and why you should completely ignore them, not listen to them, and use it as fuel for your fire uh, to get you to your goals, to your hopes and dreams, and have it so that your, wi your wildest hopes and dreams can come true, and a reality, as they have done to me. And, you know, any of you guys have got any hopes and dreams in life, you know, it may be it's, it's health, making money, working for yourself, having your, your dream supercar, or your nice house, if you want any of that, then this video is definitely, I think, it's going to help you out and it's going to be worth your time sitting here and listening to what I've got to say. And if you put this stuff into action, there's no reason why you can't reach all your hopes and dreams like I have. Um, so, going back a little while, when I had a crappy 9 to 5 job, uh, I worked in a factory, I was welding stuff up, thousands and thousands of these metal frames and stuff, getting covered in dirt, breathing in all the fumes, I was ruining my health, I hated life, I was depressed, I was miserable, and didn't make much money, I was on around about, it's like $15,000 a year, something like that, $10 an hour, and my head wasn't in the right place, I didn't want to be there, I knew I wanted more out of life, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, and, and what way to go about it. All I knew was that this wasn't for me. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to work for the big man. I didn't want to do what the system laid out for me. You know, the system, how it's laid out for you to, to do it, is to have a go to school, get good grades, go to college, get a job, um, work, work the rest of your life to make your boss rich and pay all your taxes, to then one day retire and hopefully live happily ever after. Uh, trouble is, once you've, re you've retired, you're old, man. You want to enjoy life now. So, anyway, I wasn't in the right place. You know, the boss could see I wasn't in the right place. He, he come into my welding bay in, in my little booth and he goes, Kev, what do you want from this place? What, what, you know, what are your goals? What are your plans? You know, and I was like, my dream is to own my own company. I want to work for myself. That's my dream. The boss says, Kev, I've tried that. I've failed so many times, it's not going to work. And this boss, he used, he used to own the company that I was working at, and it all failed for him. He got bought out. He was still running the place, but, uh, but he didn't own the company anymore. And he says, Kev, I've tried all that, and I've failed. Uh, my best advice to you is stick in with this job here. Do well. Work your way up. Become a foreman. Become a, maybe a supervisor. You know, that's where the money's at, Kev. Oh, it's not what I want to do. I don't want to be a boss working for somebody else. I want to be working for my own company. And the boss says, Kev, you'll never do it. You're wasting your time. Just get your head down, work harder, build yourself up in this company. Anyway, I didn't listen to him. I left that job. I got another job after that, and that job was, wasn't really any good for me neither, so I left that job. That's a long story, really, why I left a job. Basically, basically, this wasn't a fit for me. I wasn't happy. I walked out in the end. Um, and I kind of made it my my life of trying to find a way of making money online. So for the first couple of years of leaving my job, uh, I wasn't really, didn't know which way to go in life. I didn't know what to do. And I was looking on the internet at different ways of making money. And I started coming across these people saying that they were making money online, making money from the internet. And I was like, what? They got a laptop, they're at home, and they're just making money just, just from a laptop. I was like, that's crazy. I was like, is it, is it BS? Is it, is it, are they scams? I was, it's like, I mean, what's this about? How can you just sit there with a computer? You know, before I was working like $10 an hour in a factory, in a sweatshop, and there's people making millions just with a laptop. I was thinking, this is too good to be true. And they always say, you know, things sound too good to be true. It normally is. But you can't get mixed up with reality. Sometimes you're just so far stuck in your own little world that you don't see the bigger picture. And that's what I was in. So I started looking at different ways of making money online, and I tried many different things. You know, I did to start off with. I failed at everything. You know, I I, I wasn't business minded. I knew I wanted to have a business. I knew I wanted to work for myself, but I didn't know how to do it. And I tried a few different things, and I failed, and I failed. And I remember being in one of these um, in in a hobby in a hobby shop with a, where I used to fly model helicopters. This was a few years ago now, probably about. 
probably about six years ago, something like that. I used to fly model helicopters. I made a little bit of money. I set up my own welding company. I was building these trailers and stuff for burger companies. I wasn't making massive amounts of money, but I was making enough just to work for myself. I still wasn't happy though. I was still doing the same grimy job, but it's just for myself. And I made enough money to buy model helicopters and have, have fun with RCs and stuff, but I didn't really make enough money to sort of hit my proper goals. My proper goals being owning a monster truck. Uh, so, uh, you know, and I remember standing in the shop and this dude comes up to me. He's like, Kev, what are you doing with your life? He says. I said to him, I said, dude, my dream is to work for myself. I want to make money online. I want to make money on the internet. I want to build a monster truck. I want to compete, hopefully one day, in Monster Jam in America. Biggest dream is like, well, you know, one of my biggest dreams. I've got many dreams. One of my biggest dreams is so I can take part in the Monster Jam World Finals. And he says, Kev, you're wasting your time. You're, you're, you're never going to do it. He goes, just get a job. He goes, you're wasting your time working for yourself. He, go, uh, he goes, make your money on the internet. He goes, no one does that. And he goes, a monster truck. He goes, these things cost quarter of a million dollars. He says, you'll never do it. He goes, stop dreaming. He goes, just go and get a job uh, and work hard and, and just have a, that's, that's how you should do it, he says. I said, no. I said, I, I said, I know I'm not making much money now, but I'm on a mission. I want to, I want to make this happen. And I use that as fuel to fuel my burning desire to work for myself, make money from the internet, and, and sort of have some of the stuff from my wild, wildest dreams, like having a monster truck. And anyway, we went, we went to um, Las Vegas, we watched the Monster Jam World Finals. It's the first, I've always been a monster truck fan, but I've never seen him in real life. This is the first time that I've seen him in real life. And once I heard one of those engines start up, just that rumble and that roar, it made every single hair on my whole entire body stand on end. It gave me goosebumps, it made... Guys, I can't explain to you the feeling of it, but I knew in that moment, this is my destiny. That's what I want to do. I've got to have a monster truck. I've got to build a monster truck, and I want to take part in doing this sort of stuff. And I said to my friend at the time, this was in 2014, I said to him, dude, I'm going to make it happen. This is it. I don't care what it takes. Whatever it takes, I'm doing it. I'm going to build a monster truck. And, you know, fast forward to today... I'm building one. You know, I've got the frame. The frame's been sat there for uh, three or four years, a bit longer than I hoped for it to sit there. But I've paid for all the other parts. All the parts are coming over. Um, it should be here in the next next few weeks. And I'm going to get this thing built. And I'm going to have this truck. And, yeah, I'm, I'm not there yet, but, you know, the hardest bit of saving up for it. I've done it. I've got there. And... You know, I'm not saying that to show off. I'm not showing, saying that to brag. And, you know, and it's a relatively small goal to a lot of people. I mean, what's a quarter of a million dollars? I mean, in the bigger scheme of things, it's nothing, is it? It's nothing. I mean, what is it? I mean, you look at, like, Jeff Bezos, Amazon, multi-billionaire. I mean, to him, that's, that's nothing. It's, it's like a failure, if that's all he made. But you got to, you know, when you're setting goals and, you're, and you want to be successful, you got to kind of... You know, if, if you've got a goal and you succeed at that goal, you're successful at that goal. So, you know, for example, my goal was to build a monster truck. And, you know, I haven't done it yet. I, I'm still a little way to go. I've still got to put it together. But, you know, once I've done that, that goal is reached and I'm successful in that goal. Uh, when I went to a, a supercar, a Lamborghini dealership with Stempy, I sat in one. And I was never really into supercars, really. But I went anyway, just with Stempy, just to have a little look, to see what it's all about. I sat in a Lamborghini Huracumpa Fermante. And I was like, I want one. <laughs> yes. And I, I, I set it my challenge. And a few months later, I bought one. So that, you know, I was successful in that goal. Uh, another dream that I've got is to have my dream house. I want a few acres of land. I want to, you know, have a place where I can have different RC tracks, a monster truck track in my back garden. I want to have like off road go kart tracks. I want to have a nice house. I want to have the ultimate YouTube studio. And. You know, now I'm at the point where I'm, I'm looking for that dream house. I'm, you know, in that position. If Once I find that dream house, I can go out and get a mortgage and get it. And only a few years ago, that would have just been like a complete and utter fantasy in dream world. And people that told me, are oh, you dreaming, Kev? If I'd have listened, I would still be in that 9 to 5 job. When I said to people, I said, I want to I start selling on eBay. I've seen other people make 
make millions on eBay. I want to start selling on eBay. People said, Kev, you're wasting your time. You'll never do it. You'll never do it, Kev. You're wasting your time. Well, after about four, four or five years of selling on eBay, I've, I've made, uh, I've sold over a million dollars worth of stuff on eBay. And, you know, if I'd have listened to all the people say, ah, Kev, you, you'll never do it. It can't be done. I'd still be stuck in that nine to five jobs making $10 an hour. And I'll still be stuck there I'll still be stuck there now. And I'll be at retirement age and I would have made way, 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 way less than I've just done in a few years of, of selling on eBay. And then I said to people, I want to start a YouTube channel. My goal was to get to a million subscribers. That was my goal and I've got there now. I'm, I'm not on this channel, but on my main channel, Kevin Talbot. If you, haven't, if, if you haven't seen that channel, go over there, check it out if it interests you. And I made it my goal to get to a million subscribers on YouTube and... People said to me, Kev, you, you'll never do it. I had a hobby shop at the time. And I was putting most of my energy into this hobby shop and it wasn't really working out. And I said to people, I was like, I'm going to shut the shop. Um, it's not really working out. I'm not enjoying it. I want to I start doing more YouTube. I want to take YouTube really seriously, make it my main income. People said, Kev, you're wasting your time. You'll never do it. You'll never do it, Kev. You're wasting your time. Well, fast forward. I think I've been doing it for four years now. I've made over a million dollars on, on YouTube. So, you know, I'm not saying this to show off. I'm not saying this to brag. You know, I'm not a clever person. I'm just a, an average guy. I had these, you know, I, I played by the system to start with. I, I went to school. I went to college. I failed. I had nine to five jobs. And I, I, it never got me any of the dreams and the hopes that I wanted. And, you know, and I got out of my comfort zone. I tried, I tried different things. And... I started hitting all of my goals and all my dreams. And, you know, to me, I'm, I'm successful in my dreams. I've, I've gotten all the dreams. Of, well, not all the dreams. I've got a lot bigger dreams still that, I've, that I'm going after. And I'm, I'm, getting I'm, get, I'm getting closer to these dreams every single day. But, you know, to me, it's a success. I've, I've got my dreams. And, you know, if you're looking for success, you've got to look at whatever your dreams are. And once you... you you hit those goals, you hit those dreams, and you get there, then you're successful. And, you know, as I said before, success is different to different people. So basically, you know, whatever your dreams are, if you get there, you're successful. So how did, how did an idiot welder like me go from just doing a crappy 9 to 5 job with no money, completely broke, and having all the naysayers around me saying, Kev, it can't be done, to, to get into a point now where I'm hitting all my dreams? And I'm not saying this to show off, I'm not saying it's a brag, I'm saying this to try and inspire some of you guys to do the same. So, you know, some of the first business ideas that I had, some of the first things that I did online, I failed and I failed and I failed. And I started picking up a few things that successful people do, like millionaires, successful business people. Another, I started picking up on things that they do differently to the 99% that have got nine to five jobs. I was listening to the 1%. So, you know, I started off just watching some YouTube videos. And I started taking on some of these little traits and some of these habits that successful people have. And I started implementing those, those traits and habits into my own business. And as I started implementing these into my own life, I started hitting goals, like more goals and more goals. My bank account just kept going up. And... I started reading books. You see all these books behind me? I started reading some books from successful people. I even took some online courses from, from many different successful people. And I started, I started implementing these things that I, was, that I was learning from these people and even speaking to, to millionaires. You know, I've got, I've got friends that are doing, doing really well. I speak to many millionaires, some multimillionaires, quite often now. And you, you just start picking up things that they do differently. You know, how do 1%, what they do differently to the 99%. And they're not any cleverer. They're not any smarter. I mean, remember, A students, they work for B and C students. So it's usually the clever people that are not making the money. They're making the money for the boss. And the only difference with someone working for themselves and having their own business and making all that extra money, the only difference is that they've taken action, they've decided to ignore all that noise, to ignore all the naysayers, to ignore all the haters, ignore everybody telling you it can't be done, and just go ahead and do it anyway. 
So I started distancing myself away from these negative people. I said to people, I said, look, you have to cut this negativity out. Just cut it out. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know. This is not good for me. And I started to ignore those people. I, used to, I started to distance myself from those people in my life and, and started to implement what I learned from the more successful people. And you can do the same. You can do exactly the same. It doesn't matter what the dream is. It doesn't matter what it is. Your wildest dream. If you put your mind to it, uh, you can make it a reality. And especially something like just owning a Lamborghini or a monster truck or, or, or buying a nice house. I mean, that's nothing. That's nothing. Any, any average person has the ability to make a few million dollars. I mean, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be, you're going to have to make sacrifices. You're going to have to learn new things. You're going to have to take action. And, and you're going to have to do things that you never thought you'd ever have to do. And you stick with it long enough and you listen to the right people and you take the right advice and you start implementing these things in your own life and you take action. There is absolutely no reason why you cannot have your wildest dreams. And I, I know not everybody wants monster trucks or Lamborghinis or, or wants to be a YouTuber. But whatever your dream is, doesn't matter what it is, no matter how mad it might be, if you take action... And you do what it takes. There's no reason why you can't have that better life. You know, and I'll start looking back at some of the goals that I had. I wanted to be a successful eBay seller. I nailed it. I wanted to be a successful YouTuber. I nailed it. You know, successful in, in, in my way of thinking. You know, obviously there's a lot bigger YouTubers out there that would think I'm a, I'm a failure. But, you know, uh, one of the biggest and best things for working for yourself, which is being your own person. I can get up when I want. I can get out of bed when I want. I can have a holiday when I want. I can work when I want. I can go out and play RCs when I want. I can go to Vegas when I want. I can do what I want when I want. I've got the freedom to do what I want when I want. With Nobody can tell me I can't do it. And, and that, to me, is the biggest goal. I've not worked now for 13 years. I've not had a job. For the first few, few years, it was me trying stuff and failing at stuff, and it wasn't working. But, you know, in the last sort of... Five, four, five years, stuff started to go really well. And, you know, moral of this story is, guys, if you have a goal, if you have a hope or a dream, listen to somebody that has achieved what you want to achieve. If you want a Lambo, listen to somebody that's got a Lambo, see what he did. If you want a monster truck, listen to someone that's got a monster truck. If you want to win a marathon or the Olympics, listen to somebody that's done it and take advice from them. So... And then take action. And, and if you listen to all those naysayers say that can't be done, you know, for example, don't take financial advice from somebody that can't make money. You know, these people telling me, Kev, don't do it, you'll never do it. They, they all can't make money. They've all got crappy nine to five jobs. So if I'd have listened to those, I would have been like those. And I would have still been stuck in that crappy nine to five job, slaving away and hating life and not getting anywhere. And instead... I ignored those and I started listening to people that have been successful. And I started to become successful myself. And there's absolutely no reason why you can't do it. I'm going to put a couple of links down below. I've put together a little program um, where I put all the 75 habits, you know, that I've learned 75 habits, like main habits and traits that I've picked up from super successful people, you know, from books, from online courses, from talking to other successful people. And I've tested these traits and habits. And all of these have helped me get closer to my dreams. I've put them all together in this easy package. Uh, I'm going to put a link to that down below. Check it out. Um, it is paid for, but the amount of information that you're going to get out of that has taken me years and years to get together and put it together in a program that's going to help you guys out. And there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you've got nothing to lose um, and only something to gain. So you can try it for 30 days. If you don't like it, hit me up an email. It's okay if it's not for me. And you'll get your money back. You've got nothing to lose. And, you know, if you start implementing these traits in your life, then you will get more successful. You, you will get to your goals quicker. And, you know, I've even got eBay training courses. I've got YouTube training courses. You know, I know not everybody wants to do that. Some people want different businesses. But if that's something that you want to do, I've made some programs based around that as well. And the same with them. They've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. You've got absolutely nothing to lose. You can try it out, see if it's for you. Uh, if it's for you, great. If it's not, you get your money back. And I've even put together a bundle. But I've bundled everything together. Uh, we get this stuff for one at one time. 
lowest price ever. And same with that, 30 day money back guarantee, absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain. And I know business isn't for everybody. You know, most people, the 99% of the people, they're just wired up to work in the nine till five. And you know, if that's you, if that's the way you're programmed, uh, then that's you, but why not give it a go? Why not see if you could be in that 1%? Why not see if you can make the extra money? Why not see if you can work for yourself and sack the big man and build the life of your dreams? Is it not worth it for 30 days to give it a go and see if, if you can build that life of your dreams with absolutely no risk and nothing to lose? Nobody has ever been denied a refund. And the only reason you need for a refund, you don't even need a reason. Just, you know, you say you want, want the money for pizza, you get your money back. I don't care what the reason is. If you're not a good fit for this, if, you're, if you haven't got potential to be in that 1%, then, then I'm happy to give you a refund. You know, I don't want any people in on these programs. They're not going to make it work. So over and out, guys. Build yourself a better future. See if you've got it in you. You owe it to yourself. If an idiot like me can do it, then <laughs> what's your excuse? <laughs>